My name is Kyle Cousins. I am a singer, songwriter, musician, recording artist, performer, and I also happen to be on the autism spectrum. I've been really passionate about music from a very, very early age. I think pretty much like ever since I was, I'd have to say like around elementary school, I think it became even more and more evident. I didn't necessarily have musical parents, but they listened to music a lot. You know, I always, you know, heard the radio a lot. I have two older siblings who are musical as well. Uh, one older brother, one older sister. So naturally it kind of just gravitated towards me as well. I think when I was around like eight or nine, it became more evident, more visible towards others, specifically towards my parents. Like they noticed that I had a real passion for singing, you know, a real passion for music. They recognized very, very early on that that could be a possible career outlet for me. You know, the possibility of me being a professional singer. So, you know, started off kind of early, like in some, you know, choirs, you know, I did some musical performances for like, you know, elementary school functions. And m m my parents, you know, seem to always remember like um, during those things, like where all the other kids would be you know, that I would be singing with, they'd be singing their parts, but they weren't quite so expressive. I would literally be like the only one who was like actually, I guess you could say someone putting on a show, you know, that was kind of really active and performing, you know, and uh, really making an effort to entertain the crowd. Really, it just kind of, it just kind of grew and grew and grew and grew from there. Everything from, you know, being in choir to like, you know, playing in school bands to, you know, doing my original music career uh, to the bands that I'm playing with right now. It's evolved, you know, in so many ways. Music has definitely given me like a real possible outlet for me to express myself, especially, you know, with me being on the autism spectrum, you know, in ways that, you know, I wouldn't be able to do like like, you know, say in a situation like this or like, you know, talking to a group of people, it's given me a voice, like an additional voice that, you know, I typically don't have. And like if I'm songwriting, you know, I'm able to, you know, know what the proper chord sequence would be, you know, for, you know, a certain song or for a certain section of a song. Like I have arrangement ideas for, you know, different musical parts. You know, I've made a homemade, you know, demos of songs where, you know, basically I record like hundreds of different, like, you know, vocal tracks, you know, for like, you know, say like harmony parts. On the songwriting aspect, you know, while a few of my songs definitely touch on like the autism side of me and my experience of being on the spectrum, but not always in a overtly direct way. I'm more allude to that. I mean, I write songs about you know, like all kind of different things that kind of inspire me or that I feel, you know, that passionate about. Um, so similarly, like with performing, like another strength of music for me, you know, as an autistic adult is that like whenever I'm in like a recording studio environment, I know exactly like what I want, you know, to um, relay to like the producer or the engineer, you know, or the, the session musicians that I'm working with like on my music about what I want my music to sound like, you know, you know, that it should be done this way, you know, it should be like this, like this, like that. That's another a good example of like, you know, me being able to let go for a while. Pretty much like the same way that, you know, whenever I'm, you know, on stage, you know, I'm able to really communicate effectively, you know. So the first tribute band that I'm in is actually a Queen tribute band called Queen Legacy. And uh, that's been going on for about four years now. And uh, we played hundreds of shows, you know, in the four years that we've uh, been together. And in fact, you know, we're just starting to uh, play in our uh, 2024 dates, you know, and we're always adding more as we go along. And uh, obviously, the mustache, I'm the Freddie Mercury impersonator, which is always fun because I, you know, I get to play with a great group of musicians playing music from my favorite band of all time, Queen. And, you know, and I get to uh, pretend to be Freddie Mercury, you know, my favorite singer of all time, you know, for about 90 minutes or two hours every night, which is, you know, it's always a great thrill for me. And it's, it's really like I'm living out of fantasy. You know, it's just, it's just really great. The second tribute I'm in is actually a Billy Joel tribute called Big Shot, the Billy Joel experience. And uh, that's also been a lot of fun too. Uh, and that's actually a bigger size group. Like we have like, like anywhere from like eight to nine people in the band. So we have like me, uh, an additional keyboard player, two guitars, bass player, backing vocalist, drummer, and one or two sax players. You know, because of course, Billy Joel's music, saxophone is absolutely vital. That one actually kind of came about a little bit after Queen Legacy. I pr probably say about like three years after 
Queen Legacy. And we actually just, you know, started our first few collection of shows with that tribute. And uh, we're already planning 2024 uh, shows, you know, with that tribute as well. Probably not, a, probably not quite as busy as, you know, with Queen Legacy, but, you know, this is basically like an additional thing for me on the side. But it's definitely been a lot of fun and it's actually made me want to play piano more. I live to perform. I live, I live for music. I mean, music is my absolute life. I mean, if I didn't have that in my life, I, I really don't know what I would do. I honestly don't.